Welcome to another week in my life. For those of you that don't know, I'm currently a second year medic studying at the University of Oxford. This week is week four of the second term, so I'm halfway through the year now, and I also had halfway haul coming up at the end of this week. To start this Monday off, I just had lectures and tutorials, but the day got a bit more exciting because I had a talk by the Nobel Prize winner, Peter Ratcliffe. This event was organised by the MedSoc, and it's about time that I did attend some of the events because I paid for this membership and it wasn't really paying off, but luckily the committee is great this year, so there's been a lot of great opportunities. He spoke a lot about his career that led him on to winning the Nobel Prize, but also his actual Nobel Prize work. Anyway, it was great to hear from him and we even managed to snap a picture with him at the end. And on Monday evening, University Challenge was on and Christchurch were playing, so obviously I had to show my support. Recently I've had a lot of essays due, I've had like three essays um, in this past week. I've looked ahead and it means that I don't have that many essays to do, so this is the last one for two weeks. So, looking forward to getting it done. Um, it's about psychology, which is one of the modules that we start early in this year. It's quite different to the other topics that we usually do, it's less scientific and more clinical I guess. So I'm just writing an essay on memory and how that affects clinical practice. On Tuesday I then had a meeting with my tutors. This was just to catch up on how we were doing, seeing as we were halfway through the year. And we also got feedback on some mocks that we sat earlier in the term. These are quite useful because you can air out any concerns that you have, but most of the time if you don't have any concerns and everything's alright then it's just a quick little chat. I thought I'd talk a bit about the GP sessions that we have in the first two years of the course here. So as you might know the Oxford course is very research based in the first two years so we don't really get any clinical experience. We have about six or five in first year and then in second year we have four. So not very many but they are really interesting when they come around especially if we get to actually meet a patient. Uh, in first year we didn't really get to do that so they were not as great but this year we've been meeting patients really useful as well because we get to actually speak to our patient but yeah and that work usually just involves doing a reflective writing task at the end of it so you just have to turn up to those sessions and then write up about what you've learned. This day was a crazy day in terms of tutorials I think I had three in this one day but one of them was also at the hospital so I'm just making my way back. While this depends on what college you're at for us at least we had a lot of tutors who were working at the hospital for our tutorials so it meant that there was a lot of traveling time from college to the hospital which is slightly annoying but it's all right because it's great to be in that environment especially when you're in preclinical years but the bus journeys do start to add up and it can be a bit pricey so today has been a bit of a tragic day because i had a long day of tutorials um and i somehow managed to leave my lanyard and fob which is the key to the to my room at the medical building so I was locked out um, luckily you know I can get a spare key from the porter's lodge but now I'm gonna have to go back to the medical building and get that all sorted out so I'm done with all my tutorials for today the last one was a bit of a social tutorial I'll try and get the third year medics to stay at Christchurch because after third year you get the option to move to a different college um, and a lot of people do move to Green Templeton which is a graduate college which is, tends to be quite popular for clinical medics because there are a lot of clinical tutors so you get more specialised learning but I don't know I think I'll stay at Christchurch personally and after that crazy day where I basically had no breaks, I took the evening kind of chill, went to GND's to catch up with some friends, and then we also have the art room open to us. So we have access to paints, woodwork, crochet, and all sorts of things, um, and there's also a cool horse. Then I just had to get through some lectures, and then finally made it to Halfway Hall. So this was a nice occasion where we got to dress up in black tie, and then had some food. It was not anything special, it was the standard food that we'd have for dinner anyway. But the creme brulee never fails, and it was nice to see everyone together. We also played some darts afterwards, and uh, as you can see I'm basically on par with Luke Littler. But Halfway Hall was a great success, and I also finished my essay, so I was basically done with work for the weekend. So I was just up to the usual playing football, and we also had a special dinner for Lunar New Year. If you enjoyed seeing this week in the life, you can go watch another one.